been a while, hasn't it? Hey, I've just done this wonderful show called Much Ado About Nothing in Hyde Park. What a joy. Being able to do my stage work yet again, after many, many years being able to exercise the big voice yet again. It was lovely. Oh my God. Anyway, reality bites and back we come. The coronavirus is still here. It's a shame. Anyway, I've got a couple of funny stories this week I think you'll love. Starting with... Factory caught washing, recycling and reselling over 300,000 used contraceptives, in short condoms. Detectives say the woman received a weekly consignment from an under unidentified person and were then replaced after being processed. An unknown amount of dirty contraceptives were then sold to unsuspecting members of the public, reports say in Vietnam. The owner of an illicit factory had said she had washed and then dried the condoms before sending them on to unsuspecting members of the public. The factory based in Vietnam has been busted for washing and recycling thousands of used ones. Police swooped in on an apartment in the south of the country where they found over 300,000 unlabeled and unpackaged condoms. The owner of the list factory, Pham Thai Thang No, said she had washed and then dried the condoms before remolding them on a wooden dildo. Detectives say the woman received the weekly consignment of condoms from an unidentified person and were then repacked after being processed. An unknown amount of dirty contraceptives were then sold to unsuspecting members of the public. Earlier this year, it was reported that a slumping condom sales meant that Brits were shying away from sex during the lockdown. Laxman Narishman, chief of the Jurex's parent company, said, Condom sales in most markets across the world, including the UK, have slumped since the pandemic began. Poor sales, performance on the, the stay-at-home effect are having negative consequences on potential customers. Intimate occasions are going down, and that is a manifestation of anxiety. The virus is having a toll on the number of intimate occasions in the United Kingdom. The lockdown has presented people the world over with a whole new series of relationship challenges. Health officials have also suggested a novel way for lovers to have sex while sticking to social distancing guidelines which up until now has been literally impossible. So health officials have revealed ways of doing so while reducing the risk of contracting or passing on COVID-19. Answer? The British Columbia Centre for Disease Control in Canada has suggested lovers use glory holes as a way of intercourse with minimum physical contact. For, uh, for, any, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know what a glory hole is, <laughs> A glory hole is a hole cut into a wall that's only large enough for a man's uh, <coughs> appendage to slip through, which means lovers can be in two separate rooms while having sex. Whatever next. <laughs> Couples spend £2,000 on cardboard cutouts of their friends so they can attend weddings. A bride and groom left their wedding planner in stitches after revealing their idea for getting around the coronavirus restrictions to have 50 guests attend their big day. The coronavirus pandemic has put many events on hold with concerts, shows and weddings being cancelled. As lockdown has eased, things have been gradually returning to some kind of normality, but there are still a number of restrictions in place. Currently in England, only 30 people are permitted to attend a wedding or civil partnership ceremony. This rule has caused a bit of an issue for Romany and Sam Rondu Smith from Bramley, Guildford, who at the time of planning their wedding had about 100 people on the guest list. The couple were initially due to get married in July, but just the date back to August 14th. Because of social distancing rules, they were unable to have a full wedding reception. But the pair did come up with a unique way to ensure all their family and friends were able to make the occasion. Instead of having all their loved ones gather in person, the pair spent more than £2,000 on cardboard cutouts of their guests and only had 14 actual people at the wedding.
They tied the knot in Ticehurst East Sussex after getting engaged in December. And looking back on their personal day, they say they wouldn't change a thing. Despite restrictions, Romani said, we had about 100 people on our guest list when the coronavirus hit. We had to rework our plans and the venue became really flexible. At the end of the day, we just want to get married, so let's go ahead, we thought. It helps that we're not high maintenance. One of my bridesmaids lives in Nashville and she wouldn't be able to attend. So we joked about having her as a cardboard cutout, huh? And then I suddenly thought, why don't we have all the guests as cardboard cutouts? So we got all our guests to send us a picture of themselves and it went from there. The wedding planner loved it. She found it hilarious. It worked out at the same price as what it would have cost to have them all there in person. But we sure saved on booze. Whatever next.